How is vascular Parkinsonism diagnosed? Have you ever wondered how doctors determine if someone has vascular Parkinsonism? This condition can look a lot like Parkinson's disease, but it has different underlying causes. Diagnosing vascular Parkinsonism involves a careful mix of clinical evaluation and imaging studies. First, doctors start with a symptom assessment. They look for signs like slow movements, trouble walking and balancing, muscle stiffness, and weakness in the limbs. Interestingly, tremors are less common in vascular Parkinsonism and usually show up later in the disease. Next, a detailed medical history is essential. Doctors will ask about any past strokes or cerebrovascular issues. This history helps them understand the patient's overall health and risk factors. A physical examination follows, where the doctor checks for movement disorders and assesses cognitive function. This step is crucial because it helps identify how the condition affects daily life. Imaging studies play a vital role in the diagnosis. Techniques like magnetic resonance imaging and computed tomography scans are commonly used. These scans can reveal damage to the brain's blood vessels, such as small vessel disease or signs of previous strokes. This imaging is key to telling vascular Parkinsonism apart from other forms of Parkinsonism. When it comes to magnetic resonance imaging, it provides detailed pictures of the brain. This helps identify damage in areas responsible for movement and muscle control, particularly the nigrostriatal pathway. The diagnostic criteria for vascular Parkinsonism include showing Parkinsonian symptoms along with evidence of cerebrovascular disease on imaging. Specific features, like a gradual onset of symptoms and the presence of subcortical white matter lesions, are also considered. However, diagnosing vascular Parkinsonism can be tricky. It shares many symptoms with Parkinson's disease, making it hard to differentiate between the two. The absence of tremors and the presence of symptoms in the lower body can help doctors distinguish vascular Parkinsonism from Parkinson's disease. Another challenge is the clinical diversity of vascular Parkinsonism. Each patient may present differently, adding complexity to the diagnosis. In summary, diagnosing vascular Parkinsonism requires a thorough clinical evaluation and advanced imaging techniques to identify the cerebrovascular damage causing the symptoms. Getting an accurate diagnosis is crucial for effective management and treatment. Always consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice and guidance on this condition.